Rebar placement is one of most challenging and complex parts of structure modeling. So I decided to explain it as simple as possible. And of course, there are a lot of different shapes of rebars with different sizes, depending on the shape of your stair or maybe its usage. So keep this in mind and let's see how we can add rebars to the stairs. First, we need to go to floor plan and in here I'm going to create a section from this part to here. Make sure it's inside your stair. This is a very simple monolithic stair as you can see and if you select it, you will have this rebar icon in here. And if you click on it, you can see all of these different shapes for your stairs. Depending on the shape of the rebar that you need, you can select between them and choose the one that is most similar to the shape of your rebar. I'm going to first use this one or maybe this one. This is better. And if you hover your mouse over your stair, you can see something like this. These green dashed lines are called rebar cover. So if you need to change them, you can go to the structure and in here, if you click on this part, you can see the rebar cover setting. In here, you can change its size. Now it's on 25 millimeter. If you want to change it, you can create another one and change its size from here. I'm going to, for example, turn this into 15 centimeter and OK. Now if I select the stair again, in here in the structure rebar cover, I can change it to this 15 millimeter. But I'm going to use this 25 for now. Go there again and in here I'm going to place this one in this stair. If you can't see your rebar like this, you might need to change and play with this placement plan or placement orientation. Sometimes you might need to use this one or maybe this far cover reference or maybe you need to change it to parallel to work plan or parallel to cover. So play with these a little bit until you find the best view. I'm going to put this one in here for now. For changing the setting of the rebar, for example, if you want to change its size, you can select it and from this part, you can select between these numbers. Or if you want, you can go to edit type and change the model bar diameter from this part. If you want to change its material, you can change it from here. I'm going to click on here and create a new parameter. Let's call this one A and I will only change its color to something like this for now. Okay. The shape of this rebar is not exactly what I need. So I'm going to click on this edit sketch and from this part, I'm going to move it to here and then I will add another line like this to here. I'm going to change this to one meter. Okay. And then I will move it up. I also want to delete this part and trim them together. If you don't want the bend, the size of the bend in here, you can go to edit type and change the standard bend diameter from here. This is good for me. I might need it to be 15 millimeter like this. Yeah, this is better. Okay. And also I want to move it down to here. We have only one of these rebar. So we need to go to first level and change its numbers. I'm going to use this fixed number and I might need maybe 10 of them in here. Before we continue, I really want to delete this cut mark. So if you want to hide or delete it, you can go to properties and from here in view range, I'm going to change it to 2.2 so it goes above the stair. And after that, if you want to see the rebars, I'm going to select it. And then if you click on this visibility state, you can check this 3D view if you want to see it only in 3D view. Or you can select all of them and check this box. If you go to 3D view, we can see them in here. The next rebar is going to be on top of this one. So I'm going to select it and from here, I will add another one of these, this one, and I'm going to add it to here. I want this hook to be on the other side. So if I press space a few times, I can have it on the other side.
I'm going to select it and use this 10 diameter for it but I'm going to go to edit type and duplicate it just to change its color let's create another one and change its color to this okay and okay for its shape I'm going to go to edit sketch and in here I need to draw a line from this part to here and then we need to trim them together like this let's also move this up and delete this one and trim this part too now if we go to this 3d view and in here we need to first check all of these visibilities okay and after that i'm going to use fixed number again and set it exactly on 10 then we need to go to first level and move them a little bit and this way they are exactly next to each other this orange rebar is for the base of the stair and this is for the top part but i'm going to create another one from this top down to here and i will extend it to here i'm going to go there again and this time i will choose another shape we have all of these shapes, these two shapes in here, just if we want to use them again. I'm going to select this one and this time I'm going to put it exactly in here. Now, before we change its shape, I'm going to change its size to maybe this one. And after that, I can change its color too. Let's go to its edit sketch. I will add one line from this point to here and then another one from this part to here let's move it up and move this one down like this now we can hit finish and if we go to this 3d view and check all of the visibilities for this rebar then i'm going to go to here and i will set it with maximum spacing maybe like 150 millimeter now if we go to this first level we can see them all like this we need another one of these for the top part of this stair for here so i am going to create another one with the same shape this one and i will put it exactly on here now let me move it up to this point and now i am going to change it to this 12 diameter and after that i will add another color for it go to edit sketch and then we need to add a line like this let's trim them and then move this one down to here and let's also add another one for this part from this point to here trim them and then move it down like this this one had 15 centimeters spacing so i'm going to set the same size for the other one too and if we go to 3d view we can see them if we change the visibility if you can't see the rebar after changing the visibility you might need to change this detail level to fine next set of rebar is going to be on this part for each step so if we go to this rebar i think it will be better to use this one again i'm going to put it in here for now we need to go to this edit sketch i'm going to move it to this part maybe let's go with 40 centimeter and then add another line to this part for 25 centimeter okay and after that i'm going to add 10 centimeter to here and 10 centimeter to this part okay now you can hit finish and after that we need to go to first level and set its quantity i'm going to use this fixed number and i will set it on maybe 12 again play with them until they are fixed in their place and after that this is what we have in here let's go back in here again 
and copy them for all of these steps now we need to change the shape of this last one i'm going to move it up 90 degree and then hit finish also we need to change this one in here i'm going to delete this completely or maybe you might need to bend it inside the stair okay this is the top this is the steps and now it's time for this part exactly like here we need two shapes of these type of rebars in here too so I'm going to add them real quick. Now we draw all of these rebars on this side of the stair but now we need to create them on the other side so i'm going to create a section like this exactly from here and now if we go to this part we can add some other types of rebars you see these are the rebars that we added before for this part we need another shape of rebars maybe this one i'm going to add it like this in here and if we check all of the visibilities for it we can see it on all of the views i'm going to go to this 3d view to show you how it looks it's in this part let's move it down a little bit now i am going to set it on maybe maximum spacing with 200 millimeter distance and we have them like this in here let me also move it inside okay perfect I'm going to move them up to here and then let's see if we can mirror them exactly from the center like this no we can't so we have to draw it again go to rebar and then add another one to this part like this move it up and down from these parts and now i'm going to set it on maximum spacing the 200 millimeter distance and now we can see them in this 3d view nice and clean now i think we are done with this base part we need to repeat these two type of rebars for the top part again for here like we did in this part and then we need to add all of those rebars i'm not going to repeat it so create them yourself it's time for adding this set of rebars for this part and since we can't copy these and rotate them in here we need to be creative so first i am going to create a reference plan exactly from this part to here and after that i'm going to create a section exactly on this reference plane now if we go to this part we can add a rebar select the stair and click on this rebar and after that place it in here we can see it exactly in here this is exactly what we needed and now we can move it to maybe here and then to this part and after that set it on maximum spacing and extend it to this part this is exactly what i needed you see where it starts and where it's end we need to mirror it for the other side too for top part and i am going to go to this section again and create the rebar for this part too now for the last set of rebars i'm going to copy this one on itself and then i'm going to set it on single so it's i think in this part i'm going to move it to this part exactly since this is the last one i'm going to use it like this with gray color and the same size for diameter move it down to here and if you want you can add hooks too 
I am going to add hook to start and end of this rebar with 90 degree. Okay. If we move it a little bit to this part and to here, it's exactly where we wanted it to be. This is for holding these rebars, this part, these purple rebars. And now we can copy them for all of these steps. Perfect. Now this is how our stair looks like. As I said before, we might have a lot of different shapes of rebars with different sizes in different places. And this was just what I remember from different stairs that I have modeled previously. This is everything that you need to know about adding rebars for stairs. And I think with all of these tips and hacks that I talked about, you can literally model any concrete stair that you need. So I really hope it was helpful for you and you enjoyed watching it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye!